Narav Michali is the leader of Israel's Labour Party. She's with me now from Tel Aviv. Thank you, ma'am, for joining us. Um, we want a ceasefire, but only after we have degraded Hamas's uh, terrorist capability. Do you agree with what he said? Well, first and foremost, thank you for having me. Uh, let's remember that Israel did not initiate this round of war with Gaza. Uh, and protecting our citizens is a country's most fundamental obligation. Uh, we are doing so, thankfully, with the development of Iron Dome. Uh, so we are able uh, to um, uh, avoid severing, I would say, uh, the, this and, and escalating the war with Gaza because we have less casualties. At the same time, Israel is making every effort in using really accurate uh, missiles to um, avoid casualties on the other side as much as we possibly can. Right, right, right. But remember you... that Hamas, after all, is a terror organization acting deliberately from within uh, population uh, centers. All right, so, 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 so yeah. well, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let, let, let's be clear on this, I, and I hear what you say. Um, but a ceasefire, uh, we're, we're, we're told, is in the offering. Are you aware of any proposal for a ceasefire? Well, um, I know it's being talked, uh, and I think it's, it's the right thing to do. Um, and let's remember, you know, I am, the, as you mentioned, the chair of the Labour Party, and I am in opposition to Netanyahu. I think Netanyahu's policy on Gaza specifically and on the Israeli-Palestinian conflict is wrong. And as I believe and I know that most Israelis are interested, even now, in going back to a negotiation for finding a solution for this conflict, I know we are all united in the need um, to protect ourselves. Right. So everybody I've spoken to over the last 10 days or so, they all say the same thing, and I'm sure you'd agree, as indeed you heard from the United Nations, that it's at best a ceasefire as a band-aid, and until negotiations begin on two-state solution or on the question of the occupation, from the Palestinians' point of view, it's a non-starter. Can you see any way in which those fundamental issues start to get talked about? Uh, you need political will. You need the political will both on Israel's side, which for this um, we have to uh, replace our government. But at the same time, let's remember that the Palestinians are in dispute among themselves. And while, as I mentioned, I disagree with Netanyahu's policy to weaken the Palestinian Authority and strengthen Hamas, still the fact remains that Hamas and the Palestinian Authority mm -hmm. cannot agree among themselves and right. cannot create one address with which um, Israel can even negotiate. So, uh, as I said, I am a believer in finding a way to go about these things, but you cannot look away from the fact that there is a very uh, deep problem also on the Palestinian side as right. a starting so, for negotiation. It's distasteful to talk about this when, I'm, when we are, uh, when, when people are dying, but do you believe that there is a political element in the Prime Minister continuing to prosecute this, bearing in mind that he could well be facing a fourth general election in very short order. Fourth or fifth depends who's counting and from where you're starting the count. Uh, but the thing, the, the, I mean, it's bad enough that this question is hovering over Israel and that people are... Uh, Many people in Israel feel that way and think that way. I mean, as from where I stand, this alone is a major problem for a country that has such doubt in the legitimacy of its prime minister's actions. This is our work to, you know, to handle and to really find an end right. to the political crisis we're in. Thank you. you, you of course, I miscounted. I had my list here and I miscounted. You're right, of course, uh, as I'd expect. Uh, they were the, the fifth. It's yeah. not you, it's us. Uh... Well, I, I got the numbers wrong. Uh, thank you. Thank you for joining us. We'll talk more as it progresses. And, of course, if there is a fifth general election, we'll certainly be talking a great deal more.